the death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. No! He's ours! Tell! Or he'll kill you! Rest the noted, I will pray. Pharaoh will mind you, old friend. Hark! Hark! A camp. And Hogma willing. Some friendly faces. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. How much further can I go? Yeah, I think today we will try and progress some quests. Let's go talk to Zephlor first because... Because Kaga did say something... A little bit mean. To uh, about Zeth lore, and I have to relay a message. Zeth lore, I have bad news. Seems like a good moment to talk. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here. Or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Hmm. Can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Korga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Hmm. Oh, the first option, though. Then why don't you get rid of her? I guess I guess I am Dark Urge. So it makes sense for for Virens to have this type of thoughts. Then why don't you get rid of her? A low thought. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. See you considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. Hmm. Hmm. Leave it to me. You're taking a risk for us. We'll see that you're rewarded. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Okay. Should we kill Kaga or should we talk her out of this madness? Okay, let's go to the swamp then. Uh, is it this way? Yes, we have to go to the sharp lighted village first. <sighs> Flowers, leaves, grass. Can't beat it. What is this? I was raised in the city. I'm more used to feeling Strange. cobblestones underfoot than it looks grass healthy, and fallen leaves. It's stone dead. Before That's... I went to Avernus, I kind of agreed something. with you. It's dead. Nothing quite like Let's Baldur's go. Gate, is there? <laughs> Nothing in my recollection, anyway. There's this conversation, and then there's this conversation. <laughs> okay, let's check the exsanguinated boar. Eh. Bloodless pig meat. A few chorus hairs still stick out the skin on the knee. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. I mean, it's a delicious piece of carrion. Wild boar curry? Examine the boar's corpse. Uh, plus two medicine. Hey, I have. I have proficiency. Yay! The first roll of today! Critical success! The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. Ooh! And is it dead enough for you? Hmm... These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? 
Let us persuade Astarion and see what happens. I have friends. Ah, I don't I wanna don't wanna use friends. Let's go! I it's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. Oh. You'll I be on the spot. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. Hmm, he sure seems eager to go. And uh, I think in the last last week when I was playing, I totally forgot that I'm supposed to be wooing <laughs> as Tarion. Okay, uh, this means I should rest. Let me see, I don't think I've loaded anything in. Uh, I, I realize that I probably have... R is, is a few uh, long camp uh, cinematic behind. So I will do a long rest here. I know I'm like all full up still. I'm doing a long rest. I'm, I'm not going to use supplies though. So this is just a... to try and trigger story. Oh, the wrong story, but still story. Hell's fire. She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Um, just who in the nine hells are you? Well, you absolute stinker! You kept me a secret? Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly. And his leash needs a yank. Ooh. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. So mean. You've seen that, huh, Heck? You've seen that? Hmm. Get to the point, Devil. What do you want? The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells. Gaining their essence and their torment. <sighs> That's better. What the hells have you done? The promise broken. A price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will? Don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. 
He's so sassy. But damn. Let me go talk to Will. Seems more urgent. God's damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right. And Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pets tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. Hmm. Well, the first option. No, 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 no. But I... I think he does have some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call Hell Beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Hmm. Right, Heck. What are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. Fair. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Okay, so I don't know him that well yet to actually prod him about those stories. Not yet, anyway. So let's see what else you guys have to talk about. About Mizora. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. Not Mizora? Rather important, no less. Alright, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. The way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. In short, I've grown to trust you. Okay. Uh, that's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Oh, let's go back to the cats. Let's talk about your cat. <laughs> Can we go back to the cats? You want to know more about your cats. But there's no option for that. Um, what kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal. But suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. Though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Ah. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm going to need details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. And before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Hmm. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact... You have one in your possession. I do? You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Hmm. 
I expect as much. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. Your... I hope I can count on you. Your need haven't arised yet, right? Gail? <laughs> Rather personal, science sounds like a case of the clams. Uh, I'm not surprised. I won't be surprised. Ah, oh, really? I'm actually not familiar with that series. Oh, Kalek? You're already chilling? I thought you want to talk to me. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Hmm. He's a good man. Maybe the best of us. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Hmm. Okay, no one else wants to talk? No one else wants to talk about Mizora? So, Will did the right thing, and it earned him a set of horns. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to us all. Hmm. Okay, they are, they are commenting about Mizora. Speak. Oh, you don't want to talk about the devil that just visited us? Okay, what about... Shadowheart? I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Hmm. She doesn't want to talk about Mizora as well. I'm surprised Asterion did. Like, out of all of them, I would expect the least out of Asterion when it comes to Will. I guess that's, that's an interesting thing, I guess. Okay, let's sleep. Uh, we'll do a, a camp without supplies. Tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. Hmm. The options, the first one is sigh dreamily at the fantasy and the second one is go for a walk to try and stop yourself from retching. I think, I think there's no point sleeping if you're sleeping like that. So let's just go for a walk. body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Me lord, jubilant day. I have found your vile self at last. Skeleritas fell. Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> when the hell do you mean you're my butler? Oh, one hell of a butler. The most unprincipled servant you could hope for. You have always uh, struggled to conduct yourself properly without me. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog muck on the road. Oh my god, the first option. Oh my god, all these options.
Did you cause me to kill her? Such fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. What is it? You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Hmm. You're going to tell me everything about my past life. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. Why not? I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Be true to yourself, my lord. Hmm. That stalker mantle. Let's check that out. The shadow itself. Once per turn when you kill an enemy, shroud yourself in primeval darkness to become invisible for two turns. Actually, this is a bit unlikely for him to actually kill anything. Uh, the one that might kill thing is actually Astarian, so I'm gonna give it to him. Might be more useful for him, since he's a rogue. So keep that. At least... At least it's not like a uh, bound to my character or anything like that. Let heal and hollow be a door to screams that last forevermore. Hello, Spotty. Hello, Spotty. I gave Estaron a cake. Do you approve, Estaron? Do you approve? So what happens when VA gets paid, right? You mean the the narrator? Let's pet the dog. Pet the dog. Oh. Why are you? Why is your snout bloody? Eh? Oh, it's no longer bloody. What? <laughs> His snout was bloody just now. I swear it. The heck? Hey, I guess, I guess, uh, it's fine. Let's leave. I'm a bard. Uh, actually, if, uh, when I level up, I'm probably going to spec him into a bard sorcerer I the gods are watching me what's in here okay let me see flies, midges. shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene it looks so nice in the upper city parts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. upper city huh swish never spent much time there myself i'll happily take you if we survive this bug's banquet Hmm. Sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarchal looks like. Hmm. I mean, I would be too. Also, you don't like other bugs sucking your blood, Asterion? Also, Aradin is here. I should speak up. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Sucker punching strangers. That sure bit, right? Oh. Did I punch him? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, still sore about that? You had it coming. Wasn't any of your business, though, was it? Didn't think this contract could go any worse. Then you showed up. What was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. 
Hmm. You're giving up? I might take a shot at it myself. Have at it. If you think you can do better. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. I hear the druid's leader went with you. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. And you just left him to die? Yeah, and I'd do the same again. It weren't my responsibility. Fair. If you want to play the hero, go ask the goblins nicely. And maybe they'll give you whatever's left of him. Come on. We're wasting time. He's a piece of work. Okay, let me let me loot all these dead adventurers. There's some good loot here. I think that it, that direction is where I found Scratch, right? But I guess uh, we didn't get the cinematic we wanted just now about the boar related to the boar. When I did the long rest, so I'll do it again. Okay. Nothing happened. So let's hope something will happen when we go to bed. Partial rest. You don't rest well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. Have you ever tried doing a melee attack before? Pick up a stick and lunge at the monster? I've done that once, I immediately regretted it. <laughs> Okay, I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Should we push into his mind searching for the truth? Oh, that seems very rude. So let's pick this one. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Hmm. I do. I believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Hmm. Fine, but not a drop. But not a drop more than you need. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's 
like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. That's enough. Hey, at least I have plus five bonus. As long as I don't roll a one, I should be good. Yes. I roll 19, apparently. Mm. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Of course. That... That was... amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel... happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. You can still... <laughs> Stick him here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Mm. Was that an achievement for me letting Esteran bite me? Okay, let's talk to Esteran. Good morning. How do you feel? Woozy. Yeah, I'm fine. I just feel a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Hmm. Is it how you can stand in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. I'm sure, I'm sure. What's causing this? The Mind Flayer's parasite? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Vamps don't scare me. As long as they keep their teeth to themselves. No sense judging someone for who they are. Except devils, obviously. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Hmm. I trust him. He won't hurt us. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. <laughs> like a cat? There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, finally, we got the cinematic. Someone said there's something up here. The song change. Huh. The one with lyrics? I mean, I know one other location that plays this song as well. Because I've always wondered where is this song in the game? Like all the song in the in the um, in the soundtrack is in the game somewhere, right? Like some are obviously like end credit song, 
Like, I thought this was an end credit song. But apparently you can hear it behind Esteron's tent. That's an interesting tidbit. Nice, nice. There's one other place you can you can hear this that, that I found. If we leave that ledge. Oh, it still plays. Nice. Okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, oh it faded. Sad. Okay, let's go. Let's leave. Okay. Uh, let's go loot stuff before we go into the village. You know, the first time I encountered uh, that Asteron scene in camp. I was like, okay, uh, I'll let you bite me. And then, you know, I was expecting it to be like, you know, in True Blood. In True Blood, they, if it's like a, uh, a normal, like, platonic vampire bite, they, the vampire usually, or no, the, the human usually lets you bite, like, their wrist. Oh, I, so I thought it was some platonic biting on the wrist. I didn't I did not know that the my character is going to lay down and and let Esteron bite you like that. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I was like sure you could bite me on my wrist. But no. They have different ideas. Okay, I think I looted all these. The rogue's morsel here. Do I wanna go in? Uh, sure. Let's let's try going into this. Let's see. Something's waiting up ahead. Moonhaven. Moonhaven. Let me loot this. Okay, so something, someone's waiting right up ahead. So it's a trap. Let's go. Get over there! Surround them like. I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spotted us. Good. It's like they say, no fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. Hmm. There'll be no skewering happening here. Now let me pass. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Look at the smile. Hmm. Intimidation, persuasion, or illiterate wisdom. Stand down now. Let's go. You're a true soul, but my mistake, sir. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. You'll get no more trouble from us. Promise. Okay. You better... Wait, they all want to talk? Let's talk to Asteran first. So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Taking away the free will of others could be a gift or a curse in disguise. T nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it. And we don't. Not yet, at least. Hmm. 
Such powers of manipulation could be useful, and if it makes our enemies more malleable, all the better. My point exactly. I'm so glad you agree. I picked that option not trying to get his approval specifically, but I got it anyway, so I'm glad. Now let's try to loot these houses. Okay, I I think there's something in this house for Astarion. Okay, I'm done looting this place, so let's check the apothecary's ledger. The ledger is filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medicinal plants. One entry is underlined. Deliver specially requested plants to the seller. Keep away from prying eyes. Ooh. It says there's a seller here somewhere. I know where. Here. I don't see one. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shadowheart. Yeah, Shadowheart didn't see one. You're blind. I mean, I was blind the first time too, apparently. The first time I was playing this game, I was like... The cellar was the last thing I ever found in this whole... I did like the whole goblin cam and everything and I still couldn't figure out the cellar. So I was blind too in my first try. Oh, books. Oh. Suspicious poison. Wait. Hmm. What's that? Oh, oh, right, right, right. There's a lever there. Okay, okay. Suspicious poison or suspicious potion? Suspicious poison. Don't be fool. This potion will leave you worse for wear. Oh. It shares the same artwork as this. I vaguely remember this used to be called suspicious potion. Not poison. Okay, let's read these books. Potion of Healing Recipe. This small recipe has helped me through a lot. Without my skills, my height, smarts, and tears, with the slightest touch. What? Uh, the, uh, that, that line sounds very weird. Well, it has never healed me fully. Every drop soothes. I hope it might similarly soothe whatever ails you. Someone has filled the rest of the page with repetitions of why is it always healing potions, that God's damn primitive village, and the occasional someday I'll kill that mongrel of a master? Luckily, the recipe itself is still mostly legible. Recipe for one potion of healing. I extract needed salts of 
salts of rogues morsel, suspension of Murgrass method. Stir the suspension until a vortex forms. Carefully tip in the salts. Keep stirring until the salts dissolve and the solution takes on a red hue. And keep in mind, when in doubt about alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Try the same ingredient, forms and extract. Excellent. There's a healer's law. Haitian Samson Occupation Blacksmith. Melody Gout. Commence. Samson's become accustomed to the good life since he acquired that new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Having too much red meat, huh? Patient Brandley Occupation Cooper. Cooper? Like, they take care of chicken coops, is it? <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Melody, large splint, large wood splinter in hand. Commence. Splinter remove, wound clean, douse in balsam ointment and bandage. <laughs> That's how I look at my cat. Patient, timic, occupation, none. He's a child. Melody, swallow, bottle, cork. Commence, no hardness or blockage in stomach. The cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Patient, Dida. Occupation, apprentice, blacksmith. Melody, minor burns to the face and hands. Commence. Another burn for Samson's eager young apprentice. The usual treatment was applied, but I urge her to slow her pace at work before she inflicts real harm on herself. Ah, oh, so Dita is the apprentice blacksmith and Samson is the blacksmith. Okay. okay let me pick these up. And then send them to Gale. I wonder how much books, how many books Gale will have at the end of this. We'll find out. Okay, uh, how do we get to that? Like so. Nice. Okay, let me get this painting. Let me get this painting. Can I get the notes on the floor? No. Okay, there's no books here, apparently. Now let's go through here. Oh, but there's bone caps, though. Ooh. Let's go through here. Okay, it's auto saving. Good, good. Do we want to open these coffins? Do we want to try opening? That's curious. Oh. Can't hurt. Five buried chests in a single playthrough. Okay, they only need five of that for the achievement. Can't hurt, huh? There's a shovel there. It's unfortunate that uh, pickaxes and rope don't do anything here. I mean, like, don't do anything in this game. Like, when you're playing, like, D&D, &D, right? Like, a tabletop one. Usually, if you go adventuring, you need rope and whatnot. It's unfortunate that it's it's not a thing in this game. I wish there was more use for the rope. But they're just for selling. It's more fun to watch other people play BG3 than playing it myself. It can be fun, yes. Looks empty. There's bottles in there, it's not empty. Okay. Let's open these. Oh, there's a book here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we read this? I don't think so. Azuth, the god of wizards all who spend their whole lives learning, 
He grants their spells both big and small, for Mistra always yearning. Being the tyrant, the black hand, make sure the strong do rule. He spreads his darkness through the land, praised by the harsh and cruel. Bashaba will bring forth your doom unless you chant her prayer. Split from Taimura in the womb, she brings bad luck, bad luck to spare. That doesn't really rhyme. Prayer and spare. Spar? Spar? Pick it up. Uh, send it to Gail. Gail is the bookkeeper. There's a lot, couple of other books here. Can I read these? The Primer and Mythical Beast. We'll, I'll read those later. Hey. Uh, opening the mouldering caskets. Okay, let's start with this one. And I'll say first. Actually, I want to check. Three to six. Touch me. Four to nine. Three to six. It's actually the same. Looks the same. And the crossbow. Five to ten. This one's better. Oh, I could go for a Let good me meal. equip everyone. At least things have stayed interesting. Let me actually send a lot of this stuff to Kalek. Oh, food, food stuff can go to camp. Is alchemy pouch that heavy? My god. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. That's why. Oh, sword of justice. Uh, send it to Karlak. All these go to Karlak. Okay. Yeah, I'm much lighter. Okay, let's start by opening this one. <laughs> oh no! He's freeing his friends! Okay, let's see. Oh, I, could, I have turned undead. You're undead, right? Skeleton, he said I was undead. Not yet. Maybe not yet. Let's guiding bolt. Let's try. Thirteen. Nice. Uh, let me frenzy. Okay. Eighty-four percent. Let's go. No, 84% and I miss! What did you roll, Kalek? You're on 8? Wait, how is 8? 84%, I don't know. Fine! Stop him, as Terran. Nice! Okay, let's go stab that one too. Stab it again. Can't even catch my breath. Okay, um No not shoot that Terran. <laughs> Don't shoot that Terran. Okay. You're not going to break out your other friends, really? Oh, come on. It's hot in here. You say that again. Okay. Let's go touch other caskets. Oh, there's nothing in those? I was gonna say, let's go touch stuff before people ran out of like the... I think she, she's already run out of her rage, so it's fine. These are all apparently empty. Only two? Okay. Don't mind if I do. Okay. This one is the one that has like a a grave marker on it. And it only has a bone. I think I've looted all of the caskets. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's here. Let me save. Bart, I know how this goes. Magic mirror, tell me true. What is your name? No? Um... Magic mirror, tell me true. Show my fortune, known by few. The mirror is not amused. <laughs> no? You don't like it? You don't like my joke? Come on, let me through. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, God! Wait, what, what are we fighting? Wait, I thought I looted those. Wait, did I loot those? <laughs> I thought they were empty. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I thought those were empty. And what's this? Do I need to fight that? I don't think I could fight that. Oh no, as Terrence hurt. Okay, uh, let me see if I could like sneak attack these guys. Oh, nope. Answer is no. Let's go with the range attack then. Okay. What now? What now is you try to survive this? Nice. My faith will protect me. Can I kill that? No, I'll kill this one. Oh, no. Okay, can't move. Oh, you could shoot though. Missile snaring. Nice. Where is that one going? Oh, it's too. It's trying to break the his, their friends out. Okay. You got it, pal. If you want me to be there, you got it. Nice. Now, Astarian. Okay. Yes. Nice. Can you get there? No. Don't linger. Okay. No choice but to keep going. Um, let me see. There's another whisper, let's go. Oh, 16, damn. Best be on my way. Shit, I shouldn't have walked through that. Where's the next guy? Heading there. He's he's running for his friend. Okay, fine. Bring out your friends. Oh, there's not no one in there. Is it? Is it? Friends missing. <laughs> what is he doing? There's no fr there, you, you have no friends in there. Stop opening that moldering casket. See, I told you, you don't have any friends in that one. Okay. Wait, there is a friend in there? <laughs> Wait a minute. Come on. Okay. Not that one, this one. Delicious. Okay, I still hit. Not a fight. Let's go. Okay, let me this little whisper. That one. I know I'm- oh shit. I'm using my spell slots because I want to- Do I want to long rest? Maybe I, maybe I should conserve my spell slot a little bit. Maybe I should. Nice. Ah, oh, that won't do much.
Oh, damn. Kalex really hurt. Um, let's go. You missed! Nothing will stand in my way. Okay, I will a vicious mockery. It is an action. One HP, really? Come on. Kill it. Nice. There's another casket here. Are they coming over to open that? Okay. Fuck yes. Are you guys coming over to open that one? Oh, it's frightened. Oh, it's no longer frightened? Oh, shit. This one. Man, HP again, really? Can you get there? No. Behold the dance of death. Okay, nice. Ready. Got to move. Critical miss, you roll the one shell heart, really. You get there. Okay. Yeah, nice. Kill it. Reckless. Three HP. Out. Do this. Nice. Let's go. Quite the welcome. Apparently, the mirror cannot take a joke. Moving in. I was only joking, mirror. Ah! Yeah, I should I should short rest before I die. Be okay. Uh, there's two more agile ah! guardians here. Take a potion. And we'll we'll interact with the ornate mirror again. You are not my master. I'm not. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Hmm. You tried to kill me. Name at once. Now speak. Hmm. Open or I'll smash you to pieces. Bad luck be damned. Yes. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then. Thank you. Was it that hard? Was it that hard, Mirror? No traps, please. Let me loot everything in here. Surely there are some good loot. Okay, there's a bear here that I could talk to? Question mark. I doubt a bear this size went down without a fight. I failed to fight the the check though. What's next? This bear was young, judging by the teeth. Juveniles aren't so impressive as trophies. Oh. Damn, it's good to be alive. This one's not yet grown. Oh, poor thing. Oh. It's big, but still young. Heavens help the hunter if its mother caught them. <laughs> <laughs> A young cave bear. Killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. You know, now my character is oh, 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 oh. He, he fixed his mistake like he he didn't make it in the first place. Um 
to cool white and on our folding machines. I think that would be best for Carlac. Only Carlac is wearing in honor. It's just clothing. So use those. It's too easy, right? Yes. 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 Just how Carlyn and Barbarian would be weird. Typically, you expect Carlyn to go visit Inker. Inker has to be low right. And it's only 8. It's only 8 to like, like Asterion's strength. So it's like a weak point. You need to reset them. Uh, those classes. Maybe you can copy and strip it. And it'll continue. It's like, it's down with Okay. Okay, let's, um, look at the research notes. Read. Rays that failed. Gone too long. Body decompose. Reanimation failed. Came back as ghoul. Had to kill again. Speak with dead, failed, answers, unhelpful, clone, failed, needs living tissue. Reanimation plus clone, failed, had to kill both ghouls. Resurrection, failed, why? Magical curse? True resurrection, I have reached the limit of my skills and resources. The book offers help, there I accept. Ooh, what book? What book are you talking about? What is the thing? Such a seller. The owner of seller was more than a doctor. He was a necromancer. He was obsessed with a particular book. Yeah, there's a couple of books I found here. Uh, it was... It was... Where's the books? Books or books here? Okay, let's, we, could, we could sit down somewhere and read the books. Is there a chair? I think there's chairs here. here goes a light nothing. candle. That's a very light candle. We could sit down. And we can have story time. Story time. Let's read the a Primer on Mythical Beast. Each chapter of this book describes the cultural origins of a different mythological beast. Ah. I think I think I read this one. So send it to Gale. Ancient scroll. Can I read? Though a blue mole has leached the ink from most of its scroll, its beginning is still legible. The sealing ritual. Our god cares not for petty ritual. There is only the sealing, and it is vital that we observe it with exacting reverence. On the day of the sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death of our god. Where did I? Was this in? Yeah, I pick this. Pick this up in Jergal's temple. Send to Gale. Dark journal. The Journal of Ilan Toth. Have I read this one? I don't think so. Six Nightal. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lap secured. I have not heard the word they. Since we arrived and only my apprentice knows me as Ilan Toth, this place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home, not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with words to follow. So is Ilan Toth a red... red wizard? Is it... are they red mages or red wizards? Ah... Uh, the bad... some bad guys. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night. But progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life? That prize eludes me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This, this will take time. Will the Zolkiris find me before I can bring her back? I cannot say. But if they do come for me, they'll have to face the guardians I've raised. You mean the undeads outside that I killed? Send that to Gale. Um, where is the other book? 
on death and resurrection. An excerpt from the ongoing meta text, rebound by Iosefa Elgin. Uh, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denia for heretical efforts to reconstruct meta text. Let me read this. I'll read it again just in case. Of what value is life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious con critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end, if anything. Our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kalamvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but the chance to rethread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth have found them to be of the most dull an unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they are so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day, this great vo volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. Hmm. Okay, send that to Gail. Uh, let me look at this logbook. In a collection of entries detailing the exploits of an outpost overseen by the Emerald Enclave. Oh, this is the, this is the toll gate thing. Red cloak. Wait, is this? Is this from the toll? The the toll? Six Ukta sent two druids, some of the newer recruits up north. Village there has had two years of failed crops and are unlikely to survive the next winter. Nine, three days later, a group from Baldur's Gate arrived. They set up camp on the edge of the forest, two bears and a fox came by. Their territory has been burned out. Half the fox's cubs died. Paying this new group a visit tomorrow, then a day later. Visit did not go well. After telling me where to shove it, they said they cut down half the forest and burn out any wildlife that dared to stick around. Claimed they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. Two days later, Mudslide did the trick, buried half their farming equipment and made the rest useless. They won't be back anytime soon. Got reports of a red wizard in the village south of here, sending three rangers to investigate. If they catch even a whiff of a red cloak, I'm contacting the house of Sylvanas. So this is from the it is from the, the toll booth up north. I don't remember when I picked this up. Send it to Gail. There's the illustrated adventures of Baldurin. The drawings in this book are crude but enthusiastic. While the ink is faded and the pages ragged, the author's gusto remains. This book is packed full of tales of adventure. The monsters are ferocious, the men are muscled, the women are buxom, and the clothing is easily torn. Oh, it's, it's a young adult book. <laughs> is it? Something is cleft in twain on every other page, although you find a passage that's a little less bloody. The woman's eyes were dusky, filled with mystery and promise. Baldurin was intrigued. Anything, he asked. Anything, she said. Just name it, and it can be yours. 
And what do you want in return? Oh, just a small thing, she smiled. Balduran laughed. Nothing about him was small. I want your soul, Balduran, she sighed. Give me your spirit, and whatever you desire shall be yours. Balduran considered this for a moment very well. I want a turnip. She hesitated. Your soul in exchange for a turnip? A nice turnip, nodded Balduran. Very well. Dark smoke swirled around the woman, whose skin was turning red. Then you shall. The next couple of pages have been torn out. When the story resumes, the woman, now fully revealed as a devil, is kneeling at Balduran's feet. Curse you, Balduran! I am bound to you, yours to call upon when you need me, and your soul is your own once more. Let that be a lesson to you, laughed Balduran. Never underestimate the power of a turnip. Okay? Question mark? Uh, add to Gale's collection? This is... Faldorn's Canticle, Le Chardouet's Doctrine, Fringe Philosophy. The dense academic volume printed with no eye for design or delight. Uh, the publisher's note claims this volume promotes magical theory too radical for the mainstream. This excerpt is attributed to the high artificer Thora Brin of Baldur's Gate. I suppose they seek to silence me believing that an artificer of the High House would not stoop to publish in any volume outside of the great Gondian journals they so diligently guard. But they forgot that I am not so grand. Before I lent my name and my knowledge to the High House of Wonders and all the marvels therein, I was not but a lazy farm girl who liked to look up. And that was how I first saw them, the slow and serene earth motes, entire mountains migrating through the sky above. Years later, I learned of their origins, the ancient Netherese empire that fashioned them, of the residual magic so potent it sustained them still. The wizards of Netheril carved marbles out of the mundane, lifted the earth aloft for industry, for sport. It was later still, after I earned my place at the high house, that I learned of the long shadow Netheril casts along the evolution of our craft, that their great flying cities fell in folly and flames, does not diminish the wonders they wrought, and this stubborn aversion to studying them, to learning what they learn, is the very antithesis of Gon's teachings. Yes, many of the catastrophes inflicted upon the centuries were fruit born of meddling with nethery seed, yes. Their last shining bastion fell into shadow, their law twisted to Shar's dark and destructive designs, and yes, I say it again, whether the High House will sanction it or no, to study the very flame of creation is worth it, even should the fires consume us. Hmm. Hora Brin. She's... Yeah, Gondian journals. Gondians are... Gnomes. They are a... a sector of gnomes that are like artificers, very highly technological. What is this? Half-torn note. Ah, the, the Kaga one, okay. Uh, we'll read those when we do uh, Kaga's quest in a bit. Um, What's this? Oh, this is a paladin thing. Uh, Gail can absorb this item. Okay, okay, okay. So I can I have stuff that Gail can absorb. Okay. Sort. I type. Let me drink some coffee before I uh, explore further. Also, wait a moment. I thought the robes were red. Did he change color? I thought the robes were red when Astron was wearing it earlier. Why is it purple now? Weird. Okay, pick up the research notes. Uh, that research note was about the various 
types of reanimation attempts they have used. There's a scroll of featherfall, basilisk oil. There's a book here, Moonhaven Logbook. Read. The book is filled with pages and pages of observations, tracking travellers and people in the village. You turn to the final pages. Uh, Oliver Singe Merchant arrives in Moonhaven, departs next day. Kali Scheidt. Is it? How do you pronounce that? Stranger, name unknown, passes through Not Thayen, Rashami. Then three men in black armor pass through Not Thayen. Hackett, journeyman, pass through Not Thayen. Raids! Black armored soldiers, some damage, Not Thayen, but dangerous. The book's key gem has gone missing. Familiar order to watch my apprentice. Singe passes through, doesn't stop. Familiar reports, apprentice disappeared near well, will observe. Raid. Some soldiers as before. Housework taken. Smoke on horizon, raid. So this happened in the, like, the last week or so. 14. Uh, this when The book's key gem gone missing. Then the next day, familiar reports, apprentice disappeared near well. And then three days later, raid. And two days later, smoke on horizon raid. I suppose that's when uh, this this dude died. The necromancer died. Send that to Gale. About this, the Collectania Rurum. You turn page after page filled with strange alchemical alchemical sketches and formulae. Some are written plainly, some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. They are guides to transmutating metals and recipes for weapons of war. But more than anything else, the book is concerned with re reanimating dead flesh. Mm. Pick it up. Send it to Gale. Anything else that I could loot? Uh, this is a candle? I think that's all I could loot here. Oh, this Let's one. Let's have a look. Okay. I think that's all we could loot here. Let's go through these. Oh, have I looted here already? I have. Have I? Not all. Oh, I have. Oh, there's a rusted key. I missed that. Oh, there's a lever here too. Okay, so this goes back to the other room. Got it. Now come back here. That's side of the braziers. Braziers? Oh no. Two person failed the perception checks. Oh no. I can why can I light that? There are traps about. That's very close. You have one foot on that as Terran. Okay. There's a book in here. And there's a marble plate disarmed that. Be careful. There are traps about. I know, I know. Okay. That should disarm these. And the the, the fact that there are spider co uh, cocoons in here is a little bit Let's concerning. I'll, I'll loot them nonetheless. Something good here. I hope. Oh my god, they're all dumb. They all fail their perception checks. Swift as my feet can carry. Okay, let's me. pick this up. The necromancy of Thay. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth.
You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Curious? Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Please don't open the creepy book. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Hmm. Tuck the book in your pack. What I will do is I will actually let uh, Asteran read it later, not now. Can't open it now. I think that's all we could do in here for the moment. So there is like a little hint about uh, where to get the key to open the book. Let me send it to Asterion. And let's see if we could actually read it. What a day. Let's see how he reacts to this. The necromancy I would say it is it is not too late. Read. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. Hmm. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those Okay, keys so it's the same thing until we find the key. You feel the darkness radiating from the book. It's delicious. Oh, extra light. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Okay, all these are the same. Please don't open the creepy book. Put the book away. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. So let's go and try and open Cursed the book. To put my hands on everything. 